Today, I'll be showcasing rare Pokemon items like this uncut sheet of Pokemon cards. But I will be giving y'all a chance to get this. Stay tuned shortly to find out how y'all can get it. Every item you see today, like this first edition booster box, are currently up for auction with bids starting at just a dollar for items like this first edition booster box. Bidding ends this weekend, guys. So if you wanna go check out lots and lots of items, check out the link on screen and in the description below. The first item I'm showcasing today is this. Now it looks like a simple base set booster box, but the side of the box may be a bit different than you normally see, as well as the top, but the most glaring thing would be the side of the box and the wrapping itself. Yes, this is a genuine shadowless base set booster box. Shadowless meaning that this was printed in very limited quantities right after the iconic first edition base set for Pokemon cards. And this specific box was from Wizards of the Coast and contains 36 Shadowless base set booster packs on the inside. Definitely hard to come by because of the clear wrapping. A lot of times these boxes can be fake or resealed as we have seen in the past. But knowing that this box is a genuine Shadowless base set box is very, very relieving because it is one of the items up for auction right now. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet come out this week for a chance to get your very own Charizard UPC. Subscribe to this channel, leave a like on this video, and let me know which version are you getting, Scarlet or Violet, and I will respond to the winning comment with my own checkmarked verified profile not Telegram. Next up is a display box of base set theme decks, but take a closer look at the side of the box. There's a golden strip on the side of these theme decks that are sealed. What is that? Well, that's basically a guaranteed way to let y'all know that these are shadowless theme decks. Most of the theme decks that we have are just the later print runs of unlimited base set theme decks because it has this outline mark right here and in this very, very minty fresh display box of theme decks, that means it is shadowless. Way back when for the 15th anniversary of Pokemon, Pokemon released this gorgeous 15th anniversary box with some promo cards that have 15th anniversary on it on those specific cards. This specific box is incredibly rare to see it in a sealed form like this but it is very elegant for a year of Pokemon that wasn't as popular as it is these days. Next is the booster box. Now, while it's in Japanese, the equivalent of this set, Natu, how do you do, is Neo Discovery in English. But this is a Japanese box, which comes with 60 booster packs on the inside, as opposed to the usual 36. Now these next items are very, very special. These are Japanese booster boxes that frankly, just don't pop up ever. This specific one is for Diamond and Pearl. Let me see if I can get it in focus for y'all because you can see that Mew and Unknown at the very top and then of course Darkrai and another Unknown. But this specific set, the English equivalent would be Diamond and Pearl Secret Wonders. But the fact that it's in Japanese and each of these boxes I believe comes with 20 booster packs on the inside a very, very rare find. Now, we also have this specific box, I believe in Japanese, it's called Miracle of the Desert, but the English equivalent of this specific set, I love the box art, is EX Sandstorm, also coming with 20 packs on the inside of this specific box. Lovely Pikachu on the side. Last but not least, probably my favorite out of the three, is our boy Rayquaza. This set, is the English equivalent of EX Dragon, an incredibly rare set in English and pretty much an even more rare booster box to get in Japanese. We have a playmat that was actually from Pokemon Center New York from way back when. Well, obviously I'm not gonna open up this playmat. That will be for whoever wins the lucky auction on this specific mat. 
We have an incredibly underrated set. That would be the Versus series sets. Now these specific packs that you're currently seeing on screen right now are dual type in what type of Pokemon they future. There are some of the Pokemon trainers on the back of that specific pack. I believe this is Leaf in Electric Energy. And last but not least, we have a Fire in Water Energy type. Any Magic the Gathering fans out there? Well, this specific card should catch your curiosity. Uh, Richard Garfield, the creator of Magic the Gathering, created this card, a promo card called Splendid Genesis. And this was to celebrate the birth of his first child and given out just to Witches of the Coast employees. Rumored to be around 100 of these that were ever distributed. Now, this specific one obviously is from a Witches of the Coast employee and has been authenticated and graded by Beckett. For the second child of Richard Garfield, he created Fraternal Exaltation. And this specific card is also graded and authenticated. And just so you can see the back as well. We have some official Pokemon Center Pokemon card binders. Now, all of these are from different years that Pokemon Center has released. You're seeing the different types of artworks on each of these, including this one, which is horizontally how the artwork is. And then of course, this one is also horizontal. Just so you can see the back of this specific binder. There's a Charizard on that one. And there's everybody on the gang hanging out there. Some more binders so y'all can see just how beautiful these, uh, the artwork on each of these are. Of course, Lugia, so that's prevailing with Silver Tempest. There's Deoxys strutting its stuff with the other forms of Deoxys on that one. If you like Rayquaza, well, this specific binder would suit your needs. Probably one of my more favorite ones just because of the uh, style of the artwork on it um, from the Neo era. Really cool, love this one. Just so you can see the inside of these things so you can display your cards. Last but not least, you have Kyogre Salamence in the game, all chilling out. Then we have a box of 1998 Japanese vending series, series one Pokemon cards, where you would actually uh, take the cards from the sheets that are part of the different regions of Pokemon from the games and the show, and you would peel the Pokemon cards off. And there are multiple series and sets of these specific cards, but one card you may know would be the Oeyama's Pikachu card that is on screen right now. An absolutely beautiful card that you may or may not have gotten from these sheets when you peel the cards off. Now, the items that I've shown you today in the uncut sheet of Pokemon cards I'm about to show you, and the following cards that you're seeing on screen right now are just a few of the tons and tons of items that are currently up for auction. Like I said, go to the link in the description below at rarecandy.com for a chance to bid on these items. And I'll be hosting a live stream this Saturday at 3 p.m. Central as the bids conclude. So please join us at Rare Candy to check that out. One of the coolest items up for auction would be this uncut sheet of Pokemon cards. But on the back of it, as I'm about to show you, there's kind of a problem. When this was printed by Wizards of the Coast way back when, they printed energy cards and other types of Pokemon on top of other types of Pokemon cards. So you can get a closer look at what I'm talking about. We have a lightning energy that is printed on top of our friend Fossil Cloister. And this just continues, continues as we'll also show you, property of Wizards of the Coast, and they just print it somehow on top of this sheet, another sheet. I don't know how that happens, but this just continues on until we get to some more different types of Pokemon and energy cards where they literally just put a trainer card, Gust of Wind, on top of this Tentacruel. And it goes on and on and on. And these are specifically, as we have a fossil, <laughs> it's a fossil polyworld. Obviously not, but you can see the combinations of, you know, this is ultimate fusion Pokemon at its core. An Eevee Slowbro that will haunt my dreams for years to come. 
just a very, very cool sheet that frankly, I've personally never seen anything like this sheet before. Currently up for auction, by the way. Almost, I, I've, like I said, it may be a one of a kind type of sheet. So definitely go check it out if you're interested in seeing this air uncut sheet. Thanks so much for watching. Please click on the video right now if you want to check out some Pokemon card Black Friday deals. Stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll see y'all next time.